Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and uh, MIUI V6, the developer variant of the firmware has been released for the Mi 3 and the Mi 4 right now. So in this video, let's go ahead and take a quick look at MIUI V6, what it brings to the table, what new features do we find. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's start with the uh, lock screen. Um, the lock screen, as you can see, has been redesigned. We've got the new clock over here that you can't access your uh, music player or any widgets from the lock screen. You do get your unread notification count over here. I don't have any right now to show you guys. You just need to slide up to unlock. And it's got some new uh, fancy animations here. Additionally, from the lock screen, you can also slide from the right to jump into the camera so talking about the camera app let's quickly get into that so with the camera app uh, sliding from the left gives you some options and sliding from the right gets you filters we've got uh, options over here uh, flash for, uh, switching between front and rear cameras jumping to the gallery app to see the pictures that you've shot uh, video recording shutter key all right, and there, are, uh, the uh, settings menu is a little bit bare bones right now. We don't have the advanced settings option, uh, as in we don't have an option to turn off the simple mode. Like I said, this is the developer variant. The stable release is stated to come out in October. So before that, uh, newer features might get added. So anyway, keep that in mind. Uh, so moving on, one of the biggest changes with MIUI V6 is uh, Xiaomi's des decision to drop the menu key. So now this is the recent apps key. And uh, we've got two different ways here of looking at this. So we have the old uh, icons over here for per, per screen, or you can just do this and you get the card inf interface. So that's pretty sweet. And barring that, it's business as usual. Just pull down to uh, lock and or unlock and uh, swipe up to close it. So that's that. Uh, again, pinch and you get your regular stuff. You can, as you can see, the options over here also have been redesigned. You're going to see a lot of circles and lines here. That's what uh, UI, I mean, Xiaomi was talking about at the launch event. Uh, that is kind of a the design language over here. So uh, things look minimalistic, they look clean. Um, so these are the wallpapers, the default ones. So that's that. Okay, pulling down the notification bar. Now we've got the quick toggles have been changed a, a little bit. So we've, we can like slide through over here to access everything. Unfortunately, as of this time, we can't uh, rearrange them so say if you wanted the screenshot option on top you can't do that right now you also get a quick access to your music player or whatever's playing whether it's videos or music you get quick access over here so and you can also this would be your uh, where your notifications get displayed and you could jump into the settings menu this way it does feel a little bit inspired by ios and MIUI V6 is based on the latest version of Android, Android 4.4.4 KitKat. And as you can notice, everything feels a lot smooth. The animations are slick. Another thing worth noting is when you get a notification, it actually pops up on top. So say, for example, you're in the new redesigned browser. Uh, and uh, if you get a call, it just pops up on top the way it does, uh, way Samsung does it with the Galaxy S5. It's similar to that. So, <clears throat> so you would, you wouldn't be, uh, taken away from the screen. So kind of, kind of go there again for a WhatsApp notification or any kind of message notifications, email, it just pops up on top. So you're not really distracted from what you're doing. Let me just pull my Mi 4 up since I'm currently using it and my SIM cards in it. And let me give myself a call here. So as you can see there, uh, the notification for the missed call shows up on top uh, and, uh, uh, when you don't do anything, it just disappears. And similarly, like I said, when you have the browser open and I'm getting a call, uh, MIUI does not hijack me away uh, to the call screen. Instead, you can see the call being displayed on top. Another thing worth mentioning is slide from the bottom to get to universal search. And uh, 
the battery icon the percentage doesn't appear inside the icon anymore uh, it appears separately so i'm not a big fan of that design change yet a few features like swiping over the notes app which used to launch a mini version of it uh, isn't available anymore again the same thing with the music app again the volume gui here uh, has gotten a redesign circles and lines that's what it's about so pressing and holding power there you go so you say you want to reboot tap it and then you can tap again to reboot so silent it's like there's a lot of fa fancy animations here with the silent mode there or the airplane mode So, uh, quite a few apps have gotten, uh, gotten a facelift as well, have been redesigned to an extent too. So let's take a look at them one by one. So first the gallery app. Overall, that's pretty much it for MIUI V6. There's a lot of graphical changes. It feels faster, it feels smoother. The camera app is a little bit lacking right now, but before the stable version comes out, we should see features being added. Overall, it feels like an improvement over MIUI V5. If you guys have a Mi 3 or a Mi 4 and you haven't flashed MIUI V6 yet, I would definitely uh, suggest you guys to give it a shot. If you are aren't sure of how to get that done, I've got a video explaining it. I'll leave a link to that video down below the like button in the description. So with that, I guess uh, we get to the end of this video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, do stay subscribed. So I guess that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ashia from C4E Tech signing off. You guys have a great